What's going on guys? It's History Hunting USA here today and for this video I'm going to be showing off a very very nice World War II Marine Corps dress uniform and it was requested by like one person to make a video on it and that's just what we're going to do. So ignoring all the information we have on this let's just go down to what the uniform is. So ruptured duck so he was honorably discharged French Croix de Guerre and to its originality to this uniform, kind of suspicious, but we're gonna get into that later. Corporal, all the pins and buttons. It's a nice screw back right there. Uh, I think it's a late war uniform, maybe a mid-war, and second marine division. Right, so that's just the uniform in itself. Then we got the papers that came with the uniform. This is pretty cool. Let's go with the first part, just the blouse. So can pause read all that basically just talking about generally really brief summary of the division and regiment and really brief condition overlay of the uniform also handwritten is some medals and other things probably were on the uniform might have been removed not too sure but we got qualified ribbon specific theater Japanese occupation good conduct and sharpshooter and I think everyone here knows I like sharpshooter. You can't even see that, whatever. Next thing, we go into the affidavit. Affidavit, I don't even know. Pause, read that if you wish. Basically, a corporal, obviously, by the name of Virgil L. Gorens, uh, was, I think he enlisted in 1944. In November of 1944, he got this uniform out of California, went to Saipan. And he did patrols in Saipan, which was, obviously, you guy got a uniform from a guy who was in combat. That's already amazing. It gets better. He was in Saipan in 45, and afterwards he was shipped, and I keep getting Iwo Jima and Okinawa confused. So I'm just trying to, Okinawa, okay. He was sent on the USS Hinsdale to Okinawa to cause a distraction invasion, or so alternate invasion. So basically the main invasion force would be over here. He and a small group of Marines would be over here, distracting the Japanese. On the USS Hinsdale, three kamikazes from the Japanese, obviously, decided to circle a bunch of boats. First one was shot down, second one was shot down, but it was shot down so close, and if you read it on there, that the engine exploded and landed on the deck. Third kamikaze sadly hit the USS Hinsdale, same ship this guy was on. Hit the Hinsdale, Hinsdale started to sink. Him and a bunch of other Marines ran to one side to keep it from like, you know, sinking obviously. And after that, they had to scramble into landing craft and then they went ashore. So pretty crazy about this uniform already, but there's even more about it. And it's, it's crazy what this guy's already done so far. Going to the next part, he's on Iwo Jima for a while. Um, they wander around for a little bit. And then they had to return to Saipan. So, return to Saipan. Did a bunch of sorrows reading that. And this is the second part. Pause, read that. It's interesting how he makes some, just, you know, like modern commentation on what he thinks about the wars. Because he died in March of 2019. So very recent to this video, or at least when I bought it, because I bought it in 2019. Anyways... In case you didn't want to pause it, summary, he and his regiment went, were the first men, or just people in general, I guess, from outside Japan, to land in Nagasabi, not, ah, shoot, Nagasaki Harbor. I am not stopping the video for that. Basically, went ashore, the Japanese general greeted him, and what I love is that, according to him, the Japanese general showed up in a 1937 Chevrolet. That's funny. <laughs> so yeah, basically, first people there. Make some really interesting observations. One is that the red light district was completely untouched, but the Christian churches on the other side were just completely annihilated. So it's kind of interesting, just what he saw there in Nagasaki. So they sailed to some other places. Not sure how to pronounce them. Not going to try it. Uh, battalion. They destroyed all the armaments and airplanes. Too bad we didn't do the same in Iraq. Later assigned to headquarters company. Went to a lot of other places. 
and then he was honorably discharged in 1946. So basically, 44, kind of, mainly 1945, 1946. So two years, two and a half year career Marine. According to his find grave, he was in the Navy during the Korean War. I wasn't able to find too much on him about that. But the fact that he might have been a two-war veteran, served for two and a half years in World War II, and I'm not sure how long in Korea. Just crazy, really unique uniform. Incredibly blessed to have it. This is what the back looks like. Oh yeah, and it also has the belt, which I think is very, very cool. You can see the lining, everything like that. There's a little hole there. So yeah, this, if I can get, I'm just gonna leave it like that. This is my 1944, or maybe earlier, I'm not sure when it was made, World War II, Vietnam War, uh, damn, <laughs> World War II, U.S. Marine Corps dress uniform. Thank you for watching.